villagers in the community of Toka, North Rupununi, were encouraged to return to large-scale farming by Minister of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, Sidney Alicock, as he handed over farming equipment to the village council. Minister of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, Sidney Alicock, handed over the items during the ministerial outreach in the region over the weekend. During a community meeting at the Togo Primary School, Minister Alicock said that the government is focusing heavily on agriculture development in the region and urged the villagers to utilize their products to create income generating projects. What we need to do is to get, if you have not done that yet, to get the technical people and on your own strength, because I know you have that power to get persons to help in your development. What you need to do is to develop proposals, develop the concept of your project proposals, and we could help you to see how best we can assist. Togo Village is known for its abundance of cashew nuts and cattle. In fact, it is the only community in the North Rupununi that has exhausted their lands rearing cattle. According to the Amerindian Lands Commission report, it is there Mr. Brock made a um, a presentation in which he said that it took one, uh, one square mile of savanna will graze 10 cows. We see that we have 12.5 square miles of land. Um, if we take 12 by 10, that is 120, and the half by 5, 125 here. Today, Toka, Toka's flock on the rebound is going rapidly towards the 300 mark, which shows that we have far overutilized our lands. Tushal Eugene Isaacs requested assistance to construct a slaughterhouse to boost the sale of meat supplied by their cattle. Minister Alicock promised that support will be provided under the 2020 budget once the village gets the permission from the relevant agencies and submit a proposal to the ministry. Tushal Eugene said that the village is aggressively focusing on creating more income generating projects to benefit the over 200 persons residing in the village. He is confident that the administration will support their vision for community development. Seneca Thorne, InfoHub.